Hey everybody, it's Troy. Sometimes we're doing recordings where there are passwords or personally identifiable information on the screen and you end up doing the recording and you're scrolling down or you're moving the screen across and you have to track that in order to blur it or in some cases to highlight it. I'm going to use this simple example here of something that's moving across the screen that we're going to try to track along our path. We'll go to annotations, go to the blur option over here, drag one down, and we'll make sure that it comes on the screen at about the right time, which would be at least somewhere around here. And I'll bring that back just to make sure we got it long enough. It's going to go at least, yeah, uh, uh, pretty good. I got lucky. All right. So to start, we've got it tracked at least at the beginning. We're going to resize it so that it's about the right size. And now we go into animation mode up here. Most people don't know about it. That's okay that you don't, but it's going to be super helpful here. So I go a little bit further along till it's out of the screen and I'll move that along and I'll size it up. So we go from here to there, great. And let's go a little bit further along, move it a little bit long, and great. Now, if I want to, it looks like it's kind of peeking out a little bit. We can just resize that a little bit as we go. And every time that I move my, uh, move down the timeline and I move something on the canvas, it's automatically going to move along with me. It just creates these animations, hence the reference to animation mode. And just go a little bit by a little bit. Shouldn't take more than a minute to do it. So there it goes. And then we'll do the last one on the way out here. And that one's not quite quite right. So let's drag this animation back a little bit and let's make it a little bit longer eh, that's pretty close although I might if necessary right I can uh, scale these up a little bit let's see let's try that okay cool that should do it for you once you're done just simply go back into the normal edit mode and you should be just fine thanks for watching see ya